Hey guys, uh, we're having some problems with uh, with our nice setup. You can see uh, over here, like uh, we did everything properly, yeah. but uh, Facebook is not working in our favor. So uh, we're yeah, we're we're not we're now gonna do we're now doing it through our phone. Yeah, we did we did us we did our very best to give you a good um, um, insight on our project uh, muscular, which we did uh, as a track, and it's now out on Reveal Recordings. Um, and as well, uh, this is your opportunity to ask our, us some questions. Uh, we are um, very pleased to answer them. So if you have any questions, uh, let us know and uh, we can answer them. I think I saw one question. Um, one question was how we made the kick. And the kick was actually just a kick from Tangents. Um, and we added a top kick on it. Let's see. Um, it's a low kick with a top kick on it. A really simple, but it sounds like it's a, a normal kick with a sub bass underneath it. And it's um, the key to the to this great kick is because it's in key with the track. So every element of the, the, the melody, the bass, the percussion, all is in the same key, and that's how you uh, get a really clean mix down and a uh, powerful uh, track uh, so we, we see the questions coming in now um, we, we also uh, uh, we use Ableton for this project uh, Ibanovsky works in uh, Logic Pro Logic. and uh, I, I see someone asking um, if you can uh, send us a demo if you want you can send it to our promo uh, email address do you have to yeah. SoundCloud? Um, no, at the moment, it's uh, for me, it's contact at ibernaski.com for you guys. It's we have uh, sysmusic at gmail.com. But you can also post a link in here if you, uh, it's, if you think it's okay, everyone hears it. Yeah, definitely. Um, Daisy says you're hot, but who's hot? <laughs> <laughs> who really want to know? Who's the three of us? <laughs> Headhunter's cap, though. Yeah, definitely. Uh, cool cap, isn't it? Can I link you guys? You can definitely link it in the chat or uh, link it on our Facebook. Who can I ask a question? It's going to be quick. I saw a question earlier. Where are you guys from? Uh, we're from uh, we're from The Hague. Me as we well. I live in the Netherlands. We we met there and uh, <coughs> it's the same place where we met. Yeah, a club in uh, in the Hague called Park van Troje. Yeah, um, we all had different names. We had our <laughs> our real names as an uh, artist name. Yes. And uh, my name is what my name was uh, Adia Dios, and I played uh, uh, since I was 40 years old in uh, kind of like urban clubs and uh, where they play a very different uh, kind of music, all styles together. Uh, also in clubs where uh, Hardwell as well like played um, his uh, very first records as um, as DJ, and that's uh, pretty cool to have as uh, as something you did as well. Uh, let me check it. What's your favorite pr uh, food when you produce a new track? Well, my food is actually I don't eat while <laughs> I produce uh, music, um, but I eat afterwards. Uh, I love having a beer. I think the, these guys as well. We we love uh, drinking beer or vodka, or vodka. <laughs> but we have we have one special uh, studio food, and that's Kapslon. It's really it's Dutch, <laughs> but uh, we really love it because it's uh, it has a lot of calories. Uh, I, actually, it has too much calories, but <laughs> uh, it gives uh, you so much power. You can like uh, you can work in a studio for twelve hours after it. Yeah. So if you come to Holland, eat a Kapslon. Yeah, definitely. It's a uh, uh, Turkish, uh, like, uh, uh, from ingredients, so you can uh, uh, have in mind, like, uh, dinner kebab or stuff like that. Uh, I see... Uh, hey, uh, Ali! <laughs> <laughs> I see the layers on... Um, somebody asked us the layers on the drop. Well, um, I think you can look back. You, you can look back on uh, the other live stream with kind of... Uh, yeah, when we started the live stream... Yeah. We explain you, you the can, yeah. We explain the track and we explain the the drop as well and the breakdown, so you can look up back there to have a, a impression how we did that. 
What musicians inspire you in being a DJ? Well, you have these cliche stuff like people say uh, Michael Jackson, stuff like that. But actually, everyone who did something great for music is a big inspiration because um, it it always has a, a has a has a factor in creating your music and and making something uh, as great as somebody in the past did. Wait, you must do it the first time. Oh, the feed, I, I see the feed is gone, so we have to show it all over again. Oh. Yeah. So, no, it's um, yeah. Oh. So, um, okay. we're gonna discuss the track again for uh, the people which uh, didn't uh, been tuned in with uh, our live stream at, at first. So, uh, if yes, you can uh, show us the project. So we're gonna start all over again. Yeah. We're gonna start with the intro first. No, no. Not. Well, we're gonna show you the, the intro of the track. It's like. What's the audio? Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> That's a cool part of the of the break we have. The melody is divided in two parts. You have the, the plug. And you have this. Uh, and and, and at, the, at second after the plug, you have this kind of like violin, which gives a little bit of a oriental feel. Um, afterwards, we have um, the chords coming in, which are the famous dead mouse. Yeah, everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. And that gives uh because when you have the like you have, don't have chords, it um when you combine it with the melody, it's a really uh the track it's doesn't have the it doesn't it, it, it brings a little bit more tension to building up to the part when the break uh, really like opens up with with all the big room chords and stuff like that. Yeah, and uh, a cool trick Like one of the basics is uh, you use a filter cutoff in the beginning. It's uh, closed, but then you open it up That's uh, how you build tension and we built tension towards this part. So, uh, at this part we also uh, used a guitar, an empty guitar, um, as a lead, uh, which gives us a very unique twist. Um, this is the amp guitar. We use the amplitude uh, as amp and, and the contact guitar. Yeah, uh, arch top. Arch top. Cool guitar, but uh, without a um, amplifier, it sounds shit. <laughs> yeah, it, it sounds very chill. Yeah, it sounds like a regular guitar. You could you could use it for a deep house track, but we didn't want a deep house track. We wanted the cool track, so we added this amplitude <laughs> three. And uh, it has amazing presets, so uh, we just uh, searched for, for a little preset. Maybe we tweaked it yeah. to um, to change it to our uh, likes of the sound, and that's how we made this. Yeah, we uh, really recommend this uh, uh, amplitude as an amp for your guitars to give this uh, cool effect. Definitely. Um, afterwards, we. Uh, we get into the build-up, uh, where we have, uh, uh, we call it the Rave Riser. Yeah, yeah. And um, then you have uh, this melody, uh, which announces uh, the drop melody a bit. And it's a, for some of you guys, it could be a familiar sound. Which is this one. It's uh, a smuggler lead. It's a smuggler lead we used in our uh, project we did here uh, before. 
Um, and then we have this cool uh, vocal shout. <laughs> So I saw I saw a question um, about the reverb, how we got it so clear. Um, it it has uh, it's different factors, of course. One of the factors is uh, the use of the of the actual reverb, and we use Arts Acoustic. In our opinion, it's the best reverb there is because it yeah. that's a really uh, analog feeling. Yeah, and you can use it for so many different thing, uh, different things. Um, the we, we use that reverb all the time, me as well, and um, I'm very pleased. You also have uh, reverbs as Valhalla Room or uh, reverbs from the from the doll itself, but uh, as Jesse said, uh, the Arts Acoustic is, in our opinion, the best one and has exactly this analog feel, and you, you have a hold on your reverb as well. And so the reverb on the the drop lead is something special. Uh, we, yeah, we we got the idea from uh, from the old trance tracks. They have a uh, reverb that's side chain to the lead. So when you play the lead, you don't hear the reverb. But when you uh, when the lead stops, you uh, reverb. Yeah, yeah, the something. reverb, like it sucks. Yeah. The, like the at, at point when the when the synth is triggered. Uh, when the synth is triggered, it's a dry signal, but afterwards the reverb pops yeah. open, and, and you can see it over there. So, oh, you're, you're here. like on so the meter. When we play it, and afterwards the reverb pops open. The yellow bar is uh, the sound, and the green bar is the reverb. So it's it's a really tight thing, but not to the kick, but to the yeah. Sound. Uh, Nefika, uh, yes, it could also play this without this effect, and uh, you can s you can hear it uh, by yourself. It's uh, uh, a different feeling when uh, we don't have this uh, type of reverb uh, on the drop synth. So. <laughs> Has a, it, it doesn't have this spacious feel, um, and when you he hear this um, uh, drop with with that reverb effect, it has so much. It has a much spacious feel, and um, you can you can imagine it while listening while listening to the track uh, that you are on a big party or on a big festival. So there is also uh, a swing in the in the song. We use swings many times to get a bit more more groovy uh, style. Uh, this is without the swing. So you you can you can hear there is not really it it's, it sounds like it's it's stopping. It's not it's not going on and on and on. And this is with the swing again. So it, it, it glues the song together, so yeah. it, the vibe is better. And and the groove is also much b better with, with the swing on. Yeah. And I see some questions coming in about the drop. Um, how many layers? How many layers? Well, it depends on what kind of track you have, because um, we did some progressive tunes. We had a collab with Des Berlin, This Who We Are, and that's with the melody um, and, and short progressions. And that's uh, where we use a lot of layers. Yeah. But this is uh, yeah more electro drop, yeah. And you have you have a lead that's really in your face, so um, it would be the best idea to have uh, the least amount of layers you can use. And we yeah. used one layer for the uh, lead. So when we turn it off, you get this. Yeah. And uh, at some points, like layer, always layering your sounds isn't. Uh, isn't always necessary but sometimes you have this one lead or one synth that sounds so fat that it's uh, pretty enough to to go go with for 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 now yeah right yes and um, if you're layering you should always have one uh, main lead the, the lead yeah. that has the most um, the most signature exactly and you can add another layer and maybe more layers to um, make your lead wider or make your lead um, better, warmer, warmer, 
Yeah. So yeah. Lower, higher, what, whatever you want. But you have, uh, you should have at, at least one uh, signature sound. And uh, we have uh, added uh, a few bass sounds that uh, makes the um, that uh, mm -hmm. that really gives the track the groove because when we turn the bass sounds off, you get this. <laughs> and that sucks. Yeah, that doesn't sound that uh, groovy anymore. So we have uh, a wah sound. And the upbeat bass. It's already a little bit more groovy, but it has some gaps in it, and yeah, that sucks. But uh, having an offbeat bass, really simple, sounds like this. You get the whole groovy sound, but still, it's a big one. Right? So um, we have questions, which synth is the main lead? It's uh, a tweaked lead uh, into Spire yeah. uh, we used. And um, afterwards we have this, um, yeah, we have this uh, second part of the drop when the uh, lead gets a little bit more nasty and a little bit more higher. But that's just the first synth... Um Customized, I think it's a little yeah. bit different. Yeah. But it has the same uh, root, so it doesn't really uh, differ from the first one. Yeah, it it, it has a, a quite the same character. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And the processing on the the leads is, uh, I think, more special. That gives the tra uh, the leads more. Um, that gives the lead its power, because we have a multiband compressor on it that brings out the highs of it, and. Uh, Having a lead with a more high, yeah, that really uh, gives the lead your the in your face uh, factor, yeah, and exact and like this, these kind of tracks, Smuggler as well, yeah. I think some of your your tracks, yeah, definitely, they all have a, a lead that's really in your face, yeah, because at at, at um, um, uh, as well in your equalizer, it's I guess the range from uh, I guess around fifteen hundred hertz to two thousand hertz, there's like this. Uh, this point you have this in your face uh, um, where the lead is like the most loudest and um, as well in, in, in smuggler and um, in muscular we did a pretty good job on on that uh, afterwards we have these uh, synth uh, chord hits uh, coming in uh, if you can show them <laughs> So this gives the track um, like more power. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's it's a very uh, uh, yeah uh, okay. tight tight step. Yeah. And it's very it's very tight and uh, it pounds through the mix. And uh, then we have this uh, cool uh, little vill, which is Yes's voice. <laughs> It's so uh, it's so funny because at first he uh, I I asked him um, uh, what what kind of sound is that and then he uh, told me it's his voice and he like tweaked it so much it's almost a synth so that's that's pretty cool. He first in the beginning he thought it was a dying cat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I always say it. I, I um, when I explain the sound I always say I, oh the, the dying cat sound. <laughs> I can show you the sample I use. It's it's from uh, four, or f wait, no, yeah, three years back. You wanted to make something like Dioro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds really shit, but back in the days when I wanted to, I wanted to make something like Dioro, so I saw just something you uh, yeah yeah <laughs> you just uh, experiment and and uh, what like for for us while making also these tracks and. Uh, Tracks like uh, smuggler and muscular. For our, for our is, uh, for our is main priority is to maintain something unique Continue. and refreshing. Continue. That's um, that's so kind of a key to, to 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 have a track that stands out. Hmm? What the MIDI pattern from the boss? If we can show the MIDI pattern from the boss. Yeah. 
Um, we have this offbeat bass. Moeten we op een rechter houden? Moeten we op een rechter houden? Ja, dit is offbeat uh, midi, um, midi clip. Really simple. Yeah, as well with the swing on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, everything in this track has swing because if you have uh, some parts that uh, with swing and some not, um, it sounds like a total mess. And we have the uh, like the raw bass. Simple as well. It's most of them are. Um, on the same time of the kick, but yeah, that gives it raw feeling. Yeah, yeah. and it's <laughs> and it's very obvious that your your basses are always mono as well. Yeah. Um, afterwards, we have this. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I have some questions about uh, the kick. How is it? Uh, how it is and how it's EQ'd? You have to write Yeah, it's a vengeance. Kick. For me, uh, we didn't. Yeah, the 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 kick is not really EQ'd. It's a really clean kick from Vengeance. It's a top kick, yeah. top kind of kick with a. It sounds like it has a sub bass. You probably won't. You won't hear the sub here because we're on foam. Yeah. And it sounds really clean because the uh, the kick is in key. And um, when you don't have a kick in key, ex especially with these kind of tracks. Uh, you get a track that sounds shit. Yeah, definitely. But it's always also important to have your stuff in key, and uh, it's kind of like uh, maintaining the harmony. Um, let's see what more kind of questions we have. How did you guys manage? How did you guys manage that the two bases don't inf interfere? Well, the w one uh, is more like a. Uh, Lower bass, like the basic sign, right? Um, yeah, the off beats are. Um, I think we, we cut also the lows. Yeah, of course. There is not like under the 100 hertz, we, we cut everything, so the, the low bass. Uh, 190 hertz, we cut everything. Yeah, so yeah. The, the kick comes through, so it's really clean on the low end, so it only the kick is on the low end, and there's not really the bass. The bass is mainly for groove and to fill up the mid, uh, mid low end. Yeah, true. And so the all um, the low frequencies have their own space and don't interfere. So I guess to answer your question properly, it's just working on your EQing, man. Yeah. Definitely. So if we're trying to, if you try to mix, uh, you you try to give every element in the in the song its own place in the mix. So you, if you have a kick, you try the low end uh, that's there, especially with these kind of songs uh, with the mid bass. You want to have the lead on top, and over the lead you want to have like percussions, uh, hi hats, claps, stuff like that. So everything has its own place. <laughs> well, I I see a question. Um, I wish we could do this uh, uh, do this in Logic Pro. Well, I'm a Logic Pro user, uh, and we uh, made this track into Ableton. But um, you can do this in. Logic, if you want, you can do this in uh, FL Studio. It's just uh, like as uh, Yessa and Ryan also said, we used in to hold the track, we used um, swing. So that's uh, very, I guess, some of the main keys to this track. We use a lot of swing. Yep. Um, uh, the layers are very tight and clean. Uh, the basses don't interfere as well. So um, um, for the for the master, can you have a better oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, if you guys have any more questions, you can put them in the chat. We will answer them later. Uh, we will reply to it. Uh, for now, the stream is over, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something about it. Yeah. Uh, so, get support. Buy the track. Let's get it higher. Yeah. And definitely, um, uh, as Ryan said, if you have a question and. Uh, questions for us uh, feel free to ask them set, up, set them down here we're gonna do us ver do our own very best to answer them all and uh, you can also um, send us your promos um, to our uh, emails which is contact at and sis 
music at gmail says music at gmail dot com or it, or you can send us a private message on Facebook yeah for me it works uh, also good like that um, and yeah uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy our track our new track muscular as much as we do and um, yeah. we hope we can uh, keep providing you guys with a lot of cool and uh, groundbreaking music yeah see you later guys see you later peace.